part two just so the video is not so long. No, it's the loss of um, their, their cell phones and their mobile phones. That is slated to go down, as is television. You know, we've moved on from a sort of a electronic lockdown over the United States to much more of a global lockdown. That's true. I don't true. think every country in the world, but there will be many parts of the world. And what We've seen a lot of action. For those of you who are, have, obviously, are on my Telegram, that's most of you, but for those of you who haven't been paying attention and don't have a good source of incoming news, just you have to pay attention to how the globe's taking cues from the U.S. Look at Brazil, look at Venezuela. To an extent, even look at Cuba. Uh, look at Italy. Oh, look what's going on in Italy. Look at, look at France, uh, Iran, the, the whole Middle East, especially especially Iran, just, in, you know, England, uh, Brussels, the whole of Germany, really, uh, so many other places, even China. Look at what's going on around, in Russia, look what's going on around the world and how they're reacting. A lot of information. Up, no matter where you tune it to, depending on on your particular operation in fact the main country, reason that i keep it will either automatically default back to one channel coming from america and or... wouldn't that be nice the main reason i keep giving these guys any credence really is because i see what's happening around the world and i see how countries who have an even more out of the gate on paper oppressive style of government than us their citizens are further along in revolting against some aspect of it because their media isn't as wide-reaching as ours. That's the only reason I even keep listening to these guys, because that information backs up what they're saying. What we're seeing in the U.S., though, as we all know thus far, has not. Or all the other channels just don't exist, and there's only going to be one broadcast channel. And what uh, they're talking about is uh, live courts martials being screened. Gee, that would be awesome. Maybe seven days or ten days. Uh, testimonies being on a loop <clears throat> so people who have decided to buy their freedom or part freedom by being open and honest consenting to having their uh, confession filmed well, that goes and along that with what charlie shown. said that um, maybe he said it earlier that if information does come it might come on the evs and then it'll be coupled with admissions of guilt to show actual proof so all the people that we we really want to wake up and show the truth and show that we're not all crazy, you know, that you know, we believe this and we're not all mad, um, they will actually have it in their face. Uh, that That's a big part of all of this. <clears throat> um, maybe just soldiers in certain parts of, of America, not the whole part of America, the East Coast, perhaps, and the West Coast, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Now, what is interesting here in Great Britain or United Kingdom, uh, England specifically, uh, using the COVID virus as the uh, reason, the Prime Minister of Britain has basically put the United Kingdom into a semi-lockdown right. as people going out. A lot out of countries have. Yeah. So France, now, if Italy, you come Germany. to Britain from Monday, you... Uh, you must actually have had a DNA test to show that you're free of the virus. DNA test? You, you must, uh, and it will be checked, have an address to go to, <clears throat> and then you Man, must have another. Simon, have a glass of tea for fuck's sake. Clear that out. This is the first I've heard of a DNA test being used to determine whether or not you've had COVID. Test five days or six days later, um, and there's a heavy fine if you don't. In other words, it's going to be enforced. And the point here is that DNA material is taken. So don't look on this as a bad thing. If anyone tries to put something up your nose, don't accept that. In my opinion, it's better not to fly than have a swab stuck right up your nose. They could just do this area here. If they want to push it up here, my advice is no thank you. You're not going to do that to me. Well, I don't know enough about medical to comment on that. I really want to ask somebody right now. I had one of those tests done in July or something. I had to because I was going into it uh, some doctor and at that point it was required it was nasty but i mean it wasn't any other kind of invasive except that they wanted my personal information 
So what's the difference if they swab the bottom half of your nose or if they go up into your sinus cavity? I mean, it's a plain swab. I'm not sure why I said that at all. So there is now becoming an air corridor lockdown. Yeah, that's I true. I understand that Britain is going to be one of the last countries the that will have any action. The United so, States has announced so, that all airlines are going to require that you have a either proof of a vaccine or a negative COVID test in order to fly as of, I think it's like the 25th of January, something upcoming. Lots of people are hugely frustrated. So it goes uh, right to free travel. You know, getting more and more along with your freedom of speech and assembly. And desperate as we get towards this date. But look at what's happening. Look at the mainstream media. Look at how it's not being portrayed as a normal transition. They, those of you old enough to think about Obama and Clinton, I remember Bush and Reagan. Think about those transitions. And look how the media was doing this and doing that, and how the incoming uh, <clears throat> president was doing this and doing that. Too. I said this too before, as I've never seen so much attention paid to an incoming president, complete lack of attention paid to the incumbent, so much attention being paid to the new, new president where he is already trying to talk to foreign heads of state, already laying out policy, and already has his cabinet picked, and his cabinet is already talking about specific laws they are going to write and try to get passed on the first day or week of office. Because yes, that's definitely what is occurring. Definitely thirsty. And, you know, I believe there are an awful lot of bad people in positions of power who, if they don't know what's coming to them, have a pretty good guess. And you think that it's always been him, meaning Trump, him or them one of the two sides and only one of the two sides can cut the finishing tape and come through the other side and mm -hmm. if I said to you it's a fight to the death I don't mean it literally like that what I mean is it is a fight here we go again with more of these fucking words and this flowery language that's really just filler between facts we don't really need to hear any of this and I'm not, this is already going to be a lot of uploading for me because it takes so fucking long. I'm not going to try to edit all this out, so we'll just bear through it. But I hope he gets back to something pertinent because, yes, who cares? Have some tea, Simon. Fuck. Um, and it's a straight fight. It's a straight fight. Don't sit on the fence anymore, people. There's no gray area. You're either on one side or you're on the other side. Yeah, well, there's no, we no, doubt, okay, out. no doubt about that there. Plenty of people don't want to sit on the fence, but essentially what you're telling people by wait, wait, wait is sit on the fence and chill out. So that's a little contradictory. What do you mean by is that? Is this final battle and the spear point for the bad guys is the media. That is their major weapon of choice. Yes, true enough. Because it's their only now weapon of choice. I've said many times before that the biological weapon I don't know how true that is by the bad guys. I've talked before, three years ago, when special ops went in and recovered the first, to my knowledge, the first attempt, it may not have been, but it, to me it was the Anyways, third. Anyways, so we'll go on and on about this. Yeah, I don't know if that's true. The media is their only weapon. It's definitely their favorite. But, you know, they've also got the Senate and the House of Representatives and the uh, executive branch and basically they've got the judicial branch so that's not their only weapon and they've got social media which is separate from mainstream media so that's like two i mean i don't i don't i don't, I don't see any lack of weapons on their part the last all. thing you want is to release that self-same virus in your country not least because it's traced back well it would be under normal circumstances Talking about china, china Who cares? is so much in control they've been able to um influence all the other organizations that would normally have, you know, traced it back to them. Yes, yes, yes. So China never, ever wanted that virus released in their own country. Who would? The plan was that it would be smuggled uh, out. And I it disagree. Was so and so powerful. I disagree. In Whoop. terms of its ability to infect, it's ah. very, very contagious. I disagree, man. I think China did want that. I think that virus was... I don't know if it was created for it, but I think it was released to quell the Hong Kong riots because they just ended like a snap of the finger. Right around the time coronavirus, um, coronavirus became only a small amount was no. needed, but also there was a possibility of taking that, that 
them out and then seeing if they could replicate it and make more of it. And that went wrong. It was broken and lost in China. So this is just another phase of a deep-seated hatred against the president and what he stands for. Uh, you know, it's not about Democrat and Republican. This is literally about good and evil. You know, you could say it's Satan and God, but, you know, we just generally say it's between those that are yeah. fundamentally good people. Again, interesting and those that are philosophical evil. point, but... When we, we hear through the back channels of, of the evil that are done to ordinary, you know, people and that haven't come this far just to do nothing and to go quietly away yeah. into the corner. Right. is that the people I've spoken to have made it very clear that they don't think it will get that far, yeah. a mass revolution of the people. Um, that's not what's required. Mm. I do believe they, the best thing that, that the supporters mm. can do is just sit tight mm. and do what you've always done. Which oh, is, you just said pick a side, now it's sit tight again. Is trust your president. You've trusted it. And... If we look back on the four years, it hasn't actually let you down. Trust your uh, president is great, but he's know, only president for a couple more days. Politics, but unless he does all this shit. Look at what's been yeah, we don't know. In those four years, under the most trying circumstances, yeah, we don't need a, a recap. huge amount of support for Trump. Yeah, because we know. that they learned the, the support for Trump was so great. And that's how they did the plan. Now, you would honestly ask, well, if Trump and team knew all about this in the first election. Why didn't they do something in the second? They didn't want to talk the subject up because they wanted these people to do exactly what they did. Yeah. These oh, bad right actors bad. did exactly what they were expected. The long to do. game. Right. Why and had Trump gone in in 2017 and cleared it out, they wouldn't have had a government left. They wouldn't have had an operation. Quite simply, if there were a thousand of them to take down, to use a round number, and you snare the trap too early, you only get 200 and 800 get away, and then they just recreate what you've taken out. So you want to wait until all thousand are left. And then his secondary point, so many would have to go down. Let's say there's a thousand. Let's say there's only a total of 1,500 government people. This is just using round numbers. Then you take a thousand out. You have crippled the government. There are too many open positions. Some of them require elections. Some are appointed, but some require elections. Therefore, you can't fill it, and then the government becomes non-functional. Uh, yeah, okay, I get that. Now, four years later, they are ready to take out 75%, maybe, 80% of the entire government, and they've got enough, probably just enough, but enough to go in, sworn in, very emergency, and, and run, run the show. Okay. So both sides have planned. What next? Here's the point. Both sides have planned. But what the good sides have done is they've seen ahead. So a game of checkers or a game of chess, one side can see two moves ahead, and one side can see three moves ahead. And the good guys are seeing three moves ahead. In theory, we hope. And so what is playing out is what is meant to play out. And and I know people get frustrated and cross. You know, and, and what Yeah, because it's just like the Jesus stuff, just like the God stuff. Do good stuff all your life, then you'll go to heaven. It's a lot to bank on. Just yeah. like, I hope that he's yeah. right and just I can be only a tell you good citizen and sit it out and wait while and your rights are taken away. I believe to be true. And if I don't get confirmation of it from most sources, I won't even tell you. Uh, but last night was a the one phone call with people that I don't need confirmation from because I know it's true. So there we go. Let's lead with the people who you don't need confirmation from where you can give us actual things that you don't have to say maybe, possibly. Let's lead Any with time that. between Sunday and the day itself, we should expect something. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Um, you know, you don't you need loads and, water, and loads right? and loads. Those of you who are preppers, yeah, you've got six months' worth, so you're fine. But those of you who don't and don't have much money, you're able to do that. Just get something in in case, you know, like, I don't know, a day without electricity or something like that. Just be safe rather than sorry. Now, yep. hello, Doc. Not what I big, wanted to also talk about was a big deal. change in the financial system. Not super expensive to have a tuna and a green beans for your meal for a day times 30 days. And you'll eat through it anyways, so it won't be wasted, plus water. When the president 
there's only one president I remember, President Trump, when the president says there's a small, smooth transfer of power, he's giving you two messages. One is, it's transferring from him to him. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of people got cross when I, I talked about Lieutenant General Flynn. Oh, you know, you're, you're telling Lieutenant General Flynn what to do. And oh, people really don't like that. Well, I'm sorry, it's too bad, it's tough. Because what I've been told is that Lieutenant General Flynn will be offered the position of Vice President That's in a new Trump on. administration if he wants it. And if he doesn't, he'll be offered um, another government position. And if John F. Kennedy Jr. is alive, he will go around from state to state healing, holding open air meetings, private meetings, bringing church men and women Hold together. Hold on a second. With, with, with so you're talking about this guy? So you're saying that a guy that died in 1999 may still be alive? Is that what you just said? Talking to local governments, senates, the lot. So if John F. Kennedy Jr. is alive, his job, after all of this, after the guns have been put back in their racks, his gun, his, his job is gun. <laughs> his job is to actually go out there and heal the country. And then in four years' time, he will stand as president of the United States. Okay? So there you go. That's something you won't hear anywhere else. Um, in terms of the, the financial incredible. change, what we used to call in the bad old good old days, the reset. Uh, and, of course, Charlie Ward is uh, quite rightly an expert on this. And uh, I do like talking to Charlie. We get on very well. Um, uh, Charlie Ward has a true and genuine understanding and that 34, I get this right, 34 quintillion, 34 quintillion was seized from the Vatican Bank. Sounds like a lot. Now then, I don't know if that's dollars, pounds, euros. I didn't ask. If that 34 quintillion is electronic money, it's worthless. If it's 34 quintillion in paper money, it's worthless. If it's in gold, if it's 34 is what you're getting quintillion at? in gold, mm -hmm. if there ever, ever was that amount of money, that's very valuable. Right. However, I think it's 34 quintillion electronically that is backed against physical assets that means it is valuable and it's valuable also so if yeah. it's 34 you know, quintillion real gold backed against a that's how they took asset, down not necessarily be gold then that is that's how they took down true. hitler and that's how they took down Saddam Hussein, stealing their actual gold do believe america will go that was gold a big part of taking I both those regimes down i hope many countries do but that will change the way you are charged interest and i am charged interest by mm. the banks or things like that, banking, yeah. not going to sit so well with the new concept. Bombardly black people were created as slaves. They were made oh, as slaves, oh, oh, and uh, they were treated, crushed on every side by the system. You know, most of us, we do a job, whatever that job is, we get money, and then all the system wants is to come in and take that off you yeah. until you're left with that much. And you look at it and you think, yeah, but I've got a, a phone, I've, I've got a car, uh, you know, I, I want to buy food, I've got to pay for heating, I've got to have clothes. Uh, and that's the system that so many people don't understand that there is an alternative. It's what mm -hmm. they were born into. It's mm -hmm. what they've grown up to and their parents were born into it and, and their grandparents. Mm -hmm. And instead of saying this is wrong, they say, oh, well, you know, that, that's the way it is. What can I do about it? I'm just one person. Right. Get back is, to what you were just saying. You know, what we can do is support those I I went back who far. want to fight against that. In American history and in British history, predominantly black people were created as slaves. They were made as slaves. And uh, they were treated horrendously by those who, who lorded it over them. And then the, 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 the anti-slavery... The abolition of slavery was passed, and uh, these people no longer worked for nothing. Let's come forward to, to 2020, 2021. We work and we're paid, so we're paid slaves. 
you know, we are still working for mm. our lords and masters. Right, true But enough. because things have changed, we're now being paid for that slavery. True enough, so not that, sure why you need to comparison to Amongst slavery. the vast majority of us ordinary people, that we have much freedom. We don't. And this... You want to talk about who owned the boats the virus, that brought the slaves over? No, probably not. Our no. freedoms are way for thin, and they're in our concept, or they're in a book, or they're in a, a big document locked away in a museum. But to the modern politico, that is valueless, because we are purely here to feed the machine. Yep. The machine, Got it. when you speak, people will listen to you. Philosophy. Because yeah. in this sea of madness, there are a few people, as many, many millions of you, but there are billions of people who right. don't listen. Droning, so droning. Yep. do what we need to do, we cannot have our timelines changed just because, you know, people want some action. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, that's, uh, that's about it for his update here. He says a couple of interesting things. The only thing he really gives us is that we should expect to see something in the next couple of days. For sure. It's not going to be the next couple of days or later on. It's going to be for sure the first thing of note that we'd see is the next couple of days. I saw I have been trying to keep track of the dominoes falling, and I saw domino one happening a couple of days ago when that lady in Texas was arrested. I saw domino number two being that uh, representative saying that she was going to go for impeachment on the first day after the inauguration. Not a huge thing, but still something to note. I saw domino number three being Angela Merkel stepping down, which I think is fucking incredible, and he didn't talk about that at all. And also, the Italy uh, Ronzi party quitting and the Italian government being on the verge of collapse. I see that as dominoes one, two, and three. So, I guess he doesn't find any of that worthy of talking about, and I'm not anywhere near in the know that this fucking guy is. So, overall, with Q, because I'm just going to call this Q, Q theory, Q conspiracy, people who talk to Q or Q associates, right? What do we do? <laughs> Hurry up and wait. So, Getting too upset and emotionally put out previous to the 20th or 21st doesn't seem like a good idea. Planning on going anywhere to do anything like with a, you know, quote, Murusha, not a good idea. But this shit that we've been seeing is not simply going to stand. Let me show you. Stuff that's crazy that I just have to swallow for now until you have a chance to actually have some pushback against it. How about this? Uh, what? Honestly, this too, right? What? And let me say about this, they now know that only one major mainstream media reporter was there, somebody from CNN. They also know now that John Sullivan was there, who is somebody I've actually been following for a while. People outside of Utah may not know him as well. Uh, but Sullivan was there, and he was making fun of everybody going as undercover. Essentially, point being, he was in cahoots with the CNN reporter that was there. In other words, the mainstream media knew that somebody was going there intentionally to try to make them look bad and to further push people that were there to do things that were illegal. That's kind of a big story. Therefore, this is kind of... They've already said that they, they called it insurrection and then some people have had to reverse their position after seeing this. Nobody's talking about that anyways, but hold on. I guess this, this is the roadblocks. It's uh, in checkpoints. Holy fucking shit in D.C. Well, power outages by themselves, that's something to keep an eye on. He didn't talk that much about it, though he did touch on it a little. Uh, in general, the fact of all the censorship and deplatforming that we're seeing, just all that in general. Gendered terms being banned from use. I don't even know what term replaces mother or father. I don't even understand that those were gendered terms. That's, whatever. That's insanity. More freedom of assembly and right to free speech being taken away by uh, going after your right to be a part of a group. And there's also the one, the legislation that they're talking about passing immediately about making mega uh, a terrorist group so anything mega related becomes a terrorist activity and just essentially that the republicans that are in congress that are actually in opposition to whatever the status quo is are losing all their power from having them put in metal detectors to make sure that 
the congressmen, senators aren't carrying weapons, which they're supposed to be able to do to uh, just the general militarization. Just more crazy people messages, you know, from stuff AOC, AOC says to this kind of shit. To the lady in the Congress that said that uh, the white supremacist president and the white supremacist seize on the Capitol, just dumb shit like that. From this chick now, even further taking it, just to try to maybe really show what a lefty lefty she is, saying things like, I couldn't even quarter with the other Republicans because they're too sympathetic to a white supremacist cause. Fuck that. And yet another one of these ridiculous proposals that normally presidents don't just fucking come out and hammer with all the things they're gonna do, but Bo Jiden wants to put tranny bathrooms and every building and wants to have tranny sports be forced, normalized, and legalized right away. So what am I talking about? I'm saying that all this stuff, no, it doesn't, it can't stand. It's, it's incredible. Oh, you know, and the airlines, too, saying you can't travel unless you have proof of a COVID vaccination or test, because pretty soon it'll just be a vaccination. No, this stuff can't stand this rapid erosion in real time right in front of our eyes of our rights so our choice again when listening to people like this dude or, or uh, Charlie is we play the waiting game or something else well all I can say again is the waiting game is what makes sense over the course of the next few days but no something doesn't happen and on the 21st these guys start saying well Something's going on, but you're going to have to wait. It may take, you may, well, you must be patient. It may take weeks or months. Now, then we'll, then we'll be talking about different stuff when I won't be listening to these guys anymore. But for now, I'm listening. Now this is what I'm going to do. For now, buy food, buy water.